Mic check. Mic check. Oops, that was super duper lag, right? <clears throat> super duper duper lag. Mic check, mic check. Mic check, mic check. It is the hour of Mercury, day of Saturn, the sun is in Taurus and the moon is in Scorpio. Uh got some raids today. Raids, 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 raid, raid. No, I'm playing with y'all. While we're waiting on these raids, let's open some gifts. Let's open some gifts, y'all. Was y'all Friday 13th scary? Was it? Oof. Let's start with our Twitter people. I got a lot of gifts. Oh, did I just spell Twitter wrong? Ooh, somebody already did a type of any raid. Some bull Cornington. Right now I'm waiting on my raid group. They convinced me to do a raid. And I've been ready for a while, but then I was like, you know what? Let's just do it. I'm not adding a sticker to that. I should have added a sticker to that. It's just like the, the gift itself didn't, like I really didn't want to. But I, pro I probably should have. Vegas. Vegas. Ve Vegas. Vegas, baby. Ve 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 Vegas. No, I'm playing. <laughs> There's all over the place. I just woke up, y'all, so please forgive me. Let's add a sticker. Right, I should probably get rid of these. Like, seriously. Okay. Right with his salazzle. You know, I'm just gonna have to pull the chair up closer. 
trying to get so darn comfortable, right? Super T. Paris in Defense. Super T. I bet you that's how you say their name. I'm almost like willing to bet my bottom dollar. Man, I've been watching the, the Pogo Championships go down on Twitch. It's been pretty awesome. Hey yo! Hey yo! Is that trophy wins showing up again? Hey yo! Hey yo! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> What's up, trophy? I'm just out here giving out gifts. I'm about to do a raid real quick. I'm looking at my group. We're about to get into a raid for some of these legendaries real quick. I'm going to go ahead and give some gifts to my team real quick. And that supported me all season. Right? Right, just out here in this. Uh, well, I got a little air conditioner right now, but this is water festival because it's so hot outside. Man, y'all notice how everybody getting the same gift? <laughs> y'all notice that? <laughs> They're like, how how long has he spent at that McDonald's? Like, it, not long. I just I just go back to the same McDonald's to eat stuff. Like. <laughs> Yeah, it's a lot going down. There's been a lot going down. I've been on that Kendrick, the new Kendrick album. A vlog just dropped. Just got back from Quidditch Nationals. I love doing the water festival here on Pokemon Go, though, because I remember the first time they did it, and they let you, uh, like, the candies for, for what's his name? For Magikarp was so, was so small. I was like, dog. <laughs> I I don't know. I don't know how many times I walk that block. Like I was, I seriously got to work out, and I don't think I've ever gotten to work. And I'm I'm a person who likes to to work out. Like I got to work out from walking. I think the first time then. Not go okay. cap. I walked so hard. <laughs> I think I got like new new walking muscles. Is that everybody give? I think I, I do knows. Ooh, let me go ahead and get on trophy since he's here. From Hey Joe's. Who in the world is Hey Joe? Who is that? Nah, I can't do that. I gotta find something different. The Sea Turtle Mural. That makes total sense. You gonna get the sea turtle mural. Oh yeah, speaking of updates too, right? Hey, speaking of updates, y'all go check out the merch store. We got hats. They just uh we just updated and now we got bucket hats. And y'all better laugh because I've been working on this joke for like a week. Right? I ain't Luca. But I got buckets. <laughs> I'm playing y'all Y'all ain't gotta laugh at my jokes But that's like literally all I could think about When I had uh, Dang this, this person got uh, the Alolan form Or not the Alolan form but the um, Sword and shield version No it's not the you know Well you know what I mean But yeah we got bucket hats now We got buckets you get yourself an Olympic Thunder bucket, and and you might not be Luca, but you'll have buckets too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We don't we don't necessarily cap on this channel, but I got cap I got cap for you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Y'all should go check that out. I think I think that's all the updates out right now. Okay, looks like we got four people ready. Seven minutes, oh, but that seven minutes should be already up. 
let me send this last gift and then I'm gonna check on that and see. Cause it look like we about to do a Tapu Fini raid. Like to be honest, uh, that's like one of the Alolan legendaries. And I'm gonna be real super duper honest with you. Like I only know Tapu Coco cause he's an electric Pokemon. Like I don't even know the rest of. I don't even really know the rest of them like that. So, <laughs> like, I don't even know. Like, I don't know any stats about Tapu Fini. Like, if it's a PvP worthy, if it should go into a tower, I mean a gym. I said a tower. Um, if it should go into a gym, like, I don't know any of his stats. Like, at all. I'm almost, like, halfway tempted to pull it up. Actually, let me look. Okay, I got 22 minutes. What is this? Oh, that's a rock rough. Why they gotta do this to me? <laughs> All right, let me let, I'm gonna let them know all I got is rock rub. Set this controller down. All I have is rock rough right now. If you're wondering who rock rough is, he is a rock type Pokemon. It looks like a dog. Uh, I think it's like rock and normal. But just to clarify what type of Pokemon this is, this is the type of Pokemon Ash would catch. He sees it immediately. Oh, I need that. So you already know this Pokemon is probably not, like, top tier training. I didn't realize, though, until I got older, that different Pokemon have different skill levels. Like, you could capture a Pokemon and you could train it up, but its skill level is easy. Like, it'll level up fast, you know, but it'll probably top off. Like, it won't do so good. <clears throat> but then other mans... You catch them and it's more difficult to raise them because there's so many different options as they get bigger and stuff. and so many different things you can do that you could literally get lost. Like either you'll go the default way or you'll just get lost in all the moves and you're, and the man will just be ineffective. Like it just won't do nothing. Because I see that every time I watch the PVPs, like there's this dude I watch who like basically just crushes people on on youtube and that's all he does is just flame people but it's because they not they don't realize some of the mans they got like it takes more skill level to be doing certain things with them and they don't realize that they just get the legendary man to be like how come i didn't beat you and it's like well you know you got to do stuff so all i have is rock rough right now see that's one two three that's four people we have four high level trainers so it should work. I'm almost about tempted to get on Twitter though and tell people if you trying to jump in, if you're trying to What's going on with my widgets? Huh. What is going on here? Uh What is going on here? Let's Okay, well wait is it working? Okay, cool. I was like, what is going on? What is going on here? Alrighty. Looks like my widgets are working. Okay, I'll just try because I got a couple people who just now followed. Like I couldn't see it on a different screen. And, like, for whatever reason, my widgets didn't show up, so I was just testing them. Sometimes it's, like, a late fire, though. And I don't know if that has anything to do with the fact that, like, sometimes, like, if I'm not streaming, like, I'll get the follows late. So, I don't even know what that means on the whole. Team Rocket Go. I don't catch any more mans. I'm like waiting on them. Let's do some battles while we wait. Ultra Lee. Let's go to Ultra. That's a good team. We're still waiting on those raids, but hey. They're gonna show up.
Right. Let's go ahead and chop them up a little bit. Our attack incoming. We're gonna go ahead and block that. Man, I really wish I could have participated in the championships. I got caught up playing a different sport, and now I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna play all these different sports now. <laughs> Man, that's crazy, because, like, when I was a lot uh, younger, right, when I was a younger man, uh, you know, my undergrad days, I'm like, dude, how am I going to keep playing sports? Eventually, it'll be some time, point in time, I can't play sports anymore. Esports comes along. And other sports, like Quidditch, and it's like, now how am I going to play all of these sports at the same time? Because uh, some of the seasons overlap. So, unless I make like a quick flight out or whatever. But sometimes I feel like I can't even hardly do that stuff unless I have someone like, I don't want to say by my side, but I definitely don't want to try to do a lot of these things on my own. I feel like that might be a little bit too much going on. For me. Need a group setting, team setting, yeah, or team a team team probably makes a little bit more sense. Boom, 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 it's like anyone who's ever played those games, you already know the you already know the route song. I used to imagine too when I was playing like earlier games, like while I was there, that I'd be camping on route. Oh, gosh, already? It's the it's those darn pokeballs. It's them darn it's them darn pokeballs. Them darn Pokeballs. I'm sorry. I just like the way old people handle that. Um, actually, let's do this. I'm still here, y'all. Just making a couple of adjustments. Just a, just a couple. Just, just a couple of adjustments. I'm here, I'm back. Bum, 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 bum. <sighs> it's sometimes it can be hard getting a, a squad together because you know not everybody has the same timing. Um, shoot. I'm glad everybody survived Friday the 13th. Did y'all watch any horror movies? Y'all gonna play that Evil Dead game? Dude, speaking of which, I just got done watching Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Oh, man. Y'all know who I, how I am, who I am, but I'm not gonna spoil nothing. I'm not gonna do any spoilers because uh, I can't even do that. Like, I just don't even like ruining the fun for anybody else. And like for me, I'm the type of person where it's like, there are good things and bad things that come with stuff like this, Marvel Entertainment stuff, and it's like, we're just going to focus on the good stuff, bad stuff, you know, you didn't need it in the first place, you know, you don't even like it, <laughs> you know, like, you really don't, so, um, so like, on the, on the outside stuff, like, like a, like a, I don't want to say review, but like a, um, I feel like a review makes more sense than like a um I don't know why I'm blanking right now. But I know I know what I'm thinking of, like when someone like you know, sort of like is it a review? Like they sort of review or comment 
on um you know stuff you already want to try i don't know why i'm blanking on that right now but it's like a review just sounds a lot better because and i guess it's because i'm not giving spoilers either the acting really good uh choice of cast um it's really good um they're 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 bridging the story further which is really cool and some of the some of the storyline techniques sort of brought in from the comic books are benefiting the uh actors because a lot of actors don't want to get bogged down into one role so um if you've watched some of the tv shows that got dropped on Disney recently, you'll kind of know where they're going with that. I don't want to, like, ruin anything. Uh, TVA is a hint, right? But if you haven't watched, you haven't watched it, I don't want to ruin it, especially if, if that's what you want to do. Um, we'll get into another battle. But, man, for sure. For sure. Like, it was It was just... I'm trying to describe it without going into too much detail because I don't want to ruin anything. Um, I think that for for people who haven't been keeping up with the whole story or don't have a, a huge desire to, um, I would say that the story still still bridges the gap for a lot of things that you know, like I said, you wouldn't catch unless you watched the, um, unless you watched some of the TV shows that are supposed to bridge the gap in between, um, you know, Endgame and, um, well, I wouldn't even say Endgame, I'd really say Spider-Man and, um, Doctor Strange. They really helped sort of bridge the gap there. Um, like they, like if, if you didn't watch spider-man or if you didn't watch um the tv shows you can still keep up they did they still did a a a pretty good job of that um uh, some of the uh characters that you probably already know from watching the trailer like reoccurring characters did they did very well reprising their roles um they didn't skip a beat and they really didn't feel old either they didn't feel like um like they were just hanging there they felt like central characters. They really did. They really felt like some central characters. So that was that was pretty cool. Um, what else happened? Or just just like final parts of my review, like um, characters that they introduced. They introduced some characters in a very um, colorful and informative way. Without ruining the storyline or ruining the this, this, this stories that you already know. Like what you already know before you even walk in here. When they introduce the characters, it's not going to ruin anything. Like you can still sort of inquire, ask questions. And like it's not... The, it did, the story didn't branch off too hard to where like it would cause confusion for like a veteran or a like newcomer or a novice. Like, both people still, like, there were a lot of Easter eggs. So, like, if you're a big Marvel fan, there were a lot of Easter eggs that, um, let's check and see if they're ready now. Real quick, and then we'll come back and catch that. No, we're still waiting on them. Um, when, it's just granted those, that's fine. But, yeah, like, um, oof. Yeah, like, so the Easter eggs in there. Like, you probably already seen some of that stuff on uh, on YouTube about which Easter eggs and what they're going to do for, like, the, um, let's say, the end game equivalent. Um, to be honest, and see, I don't even want to give away, let's just say this. Let's just say this because, like, I want to say without really getting into it. For the veterans out there, there are Easter eggs that connect from the TV shows to the movies and even in between the movies. So, like, 
from Spider-Man to um, Doctor Strange, and not just surface level. Like some of these characters, like when you see one character enter, you already know that a certain arc has begun because it's just a part of what's going on. It's very much a part of what's going on. Um, even if they don't outright like go 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 through with it. Or let's say, like, because I noticed this too, like, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, um, right, and because they call it that, it sort of has its own, uh, I don't want to say rules, but they're they're okay, um, especially with the whole multiverse thing, kind of tweaking that a little bit. And I'm okay with that. I'm totally okay with that. Um, I've recognized that since the beginning, that they're going to, you know, because it was already doing that with movies, and they couldn't really get things comic book accurate and nobody and nobody wants to repeat the same art so when they finally um kind of like made peace with that continuity wise or canon wise i was like dude that already made plenty of sense to me like i already sort of thought of that in my head that um the movies were like another multiversal variant you know with with universal constants in it so for those vets out there that are expecting a certain arc because they heard characters were in the movie, they're expecting characters in the movie, or just when you see certain characters, um, be ready for them to sort of move pieces around, uh, add new characters, be, be ready for that. And some characters haven't even popped up on the scene yet that would be crucial to certain arcs. So either they're going to show up or they're going to do it a little differently, or they might choose another, another character to sort of embody what's going on. Or uh, to take up a certain role. And that's that's not strange for anyone who's read the comics. Because um, sometimes that's happened with a similar story or even the same story. Which, you know, they might tweak over time. But the same story done with, um, like, rebooted. Like, if Vindy War's been done, what, what? Twice in the comics? And three times in total? And it's looked different every single time. Like, there are a lot of similarities. Thanos gets the glove, uh, makes big threats. Comic book, he's in love with Mistress Death, which is like the universal embodiment of death. Like, um, you know, um, in the second one, I think he does the same thing, like in the, in the comic books. Um... Yeah. I think it's I think it's very similar. Um, I think in the first one though, yeah, the first one they all just straight up attack, and the second one they sort of come up with a, a way better freaking plan. Um, I think it, I think in both cases, if I'm not mistaken, the Silver Surfer snatches the glove, and it winds up in the hands of Adam Warlock, if I'm not mistaken. But see, the the cinematic was a little bit different from that, so. You know, but my my raid people are are doing the most. They are doing the most. Yeah, I really just wanted the. Rare candy candy. Right, rare candy, candy. Wait, if it's candy for each Pokemon. Right, because I'm transforming this rare candy into Gibble candy. So it's not rare candy, candy. It's just rare candy versus Gibble candy. That's weird. Oh, I'm not trying to click on that. Tempted to do this rock rough all on my own. Tempted. New items available. Featured. 100 coins for this headband. There might be no reason for me to not get this hat because I have a Reggie Rock. 
That was a lot. I don't even know why I had that conniption over that. <laughs> These Pokemon clothes go so hard. Like, I'm almost tempted to go to the Pokemon store and just start buying stuff for real in real life. Because look at this stuff. Are those slides? <laughs> That's hilarious. Wrap around skirt. Oh, a fire type mask. That goes hard. Bro, this Reggie Rock hat goes hard. Uh, Water Festival scarf. That goes hard too. I don't know why I want this Reggie Rock hat. That's it's so dumb. <laughs> it's so dumb. What is this? Team Skull, hilarious. I was like, I don't think it's much to be acquired. A Reggie Rock jacket. I don't even think I want that though. Like, I really just want the Reggie Rock hat. New Year pants. Who wants that? Team Skull shorts. Now, those are fly. Fly V shorts. Reggie Rock pants. Please don't tell me this is who is I think it is. It is Reggie Ice pants. Why are y'all doing this? Oh, the Muna pants are probably legit. They look like joggers on the cool. Reggie Steel pants. Okay, so then. Oh, that's a Team Skull hat. Right. Why are those unfeatured? What is this? Oh, it's a Sylvian headband. That's pretty cool. Why right, it's hot outside? I'm out here. <laughs> Where are my raid people? Oh, goodness. I'm so old and tired. I think I'm going to stream something else today, or probably right after this, probably. I wanted to stream duty, but duty is annoying. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, like, I love to compete against people and play, but streaming is annoying, because it's like, I feel like I, I, I'm not providing people with the consistency, like, the, just the game itself. So I just, I'm, I don't know if I like that. We might do some more battles if my rating party does not show up. This pass it. Because sometimes they do that. People just find other things to do, and it's understandable. Because, to be honest, I think it's more of like. Uh, it's probably more of Niantic's concern as far as getting people to raid together than maybe mine. Who's he switching to? Champ. Who should I switch to next?
which, excuse me, I almost said my champ, chandelier, right, is a, literally, a chandelier, it's like a glass chandelier, <laughs> or definitely a glass cannon, right, which is like, I'd like to see one of those made, like, I'd just like to see that, like, would it, would it be effective, like, in general, could you even get off a shot, like, or, or, is it composed in such a way where, like, maybe a glass can is made out of something else in glass, but it's just called that because it looks like glass. Because I'm thinking of, um, what's that show? The Crystal Gems. Steven Universe. Dude, I saw a Steven Universe jacket the other day. Oh, I want that bad boy so bad. Bad boy look clean, bro. You know what I do with a Steven Universe jacket? I'd be like, Cookie Cat! No, I'm playing, but bro, I would, bro, I would work people in a Steve, in a Steven jacket, bro. I would work them. They'd be like, "How are you beating me up?" Bro? I was like, "Bro, I got Steven powers. What are you talking about?" But anyway, <laughs> in any case, um, yeah, I'm thinking about Rose Quartz's uh, or Pink Diamond's cannon. That's what I'm thinking about. So I'm like, maybe that's what people meant when they said glass cannon. Ooh, that means you have to attune it just right in order to get it to do anything. Otherwise, it would theoretically shatter, right? Or at least crack. But I think with enough force, it'll probably just shatter. Rank 13. Cool. Uh... Ooh, my rock rough is done. Another 30 minutes for that egg. I guess it's not a Tapu Finny raid today. How do you guys feel about... I don't think I've played Apex in a while. Have I played Apex? I don't know. Have I, have I played Apex in a while? Apex. Okay, I guess it's, I guess it, I guess I guess we'll play some Apex next. Guess that'll be the move. I appreciate you guys coming out here and spending time with me. Actually, I have something for you guys. Since we're here, right before I go, let's um Ooh, I don't even think I can do it from here. That's okay. I guess I'll come back and get the recording later. But while we're here... it's kind of where I'm at. We're gonna mega evolve Brisinger. My Charizard. Yeah, that's for you guys. Brisinger. Right. Like way up there, even above Tracheacilla. Why do I keep saying trachea? Because I keep thinking of like there. There's just gills there. Oh no, it's not gills. Those are rings, right? Yeah, Brisinger. Just tree of skill. Ah, uh, sharp. My bad. Sharp teeth. Sharp. Sharp. Right. That does. Look, thank you. Um, are many, many sharp. Okay, but anyway, Brisinger, right? Yeah, it's for you guys. Yeah. Mega Evolve. Looking at, out here looking cool. Alright. It's for you guys. And I'm doing it too because it's like you get to sort of do it again. Or like the time frame becomes shorter and shorter each time. So. 
Huh. My second and third strongest Pokemon are Shinies. That's interesting. Did not really contemplate that until now. Let's go ahead and start walking an egg as well. I think, um... Yeah, it's been way longer. I think everybody sort of branched out from raiding today, but that's okay. We'll get back on, let's say, 30 minutes, 30, 45 minutes, maybe an hour. Um, play some Apex together. Appreciate you guys coming out. Uh, peace.